Okay, my dudes, it's here. It's here. Holy moly donut shop. I have been waiting for a new Excalibur for years. For actual years, I have been waiting for a new Excalibur Beyblade and we have it. We finally have it and we get a sword launcher as well my dudes i cannot believe we actually got a remake of a new excalibur in the ultimate evolution of beyblade burst i am so happy right now now obviously we have no idea who the owner is because there's no anime so you know for me it's zander bro like it, zander's the only one i don't care if he teached anybody i don't care if he was like yo you are the next leader or the next owner of Excalibur. To me, Xander owns all Excaliburs, even if he doesn't. To me, he just does. That's how I roll, because I think Xander's an awesome character. But as you guys... It's here, the new Excalibur Beyblade, holy moly. All right, so uh, let's just quickly take a look at the back right here, because I feel like this looks absolutely insane. We have the one arm, is that new? I feel like we've got a new piece of armor here, which is all, oh, this is awesome. Yo, look at this, sorry guys. Look at this new piece we have here. Okay, I'm like, uh, really? R really? R that's, okay, I'm done. Um, that's it, video is finished. Um, sword dash, sword da Sword dash, did you really just do that to me? TT, did you really just do that to me? You just gave me sword dash, bro. Okay, um, anyway, let's move on from the driver, which I feel like we should and need to change. Uh, but we'll roll with it and see how it goes. So we can see two different modes here. Obviously, one with the sword in, one with the sword out. Exactly how Excalibur goes. You can see it looks like it lines up. I'm not too sure if it goes around. Because right here, there's nothing here. And then here, it looks like there's a sword part right here that goes through. I don't know how that works. We'll have to figure it out. Um, there are two bits here. I have no idea. Maybe this is like a burst blocker as well. Have to check that out. I need to start reading Japanese, bro. Um, sword launcher. Hopefully, fingers crossed that the uh, ripcord is not bent. Because if it is, I'm going to cry. Uh, but yeah, other than that. Oh, 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 oh. Let's just open it. Let's let's open it. Let's get the new Excalibur out. Now, I know you guys have already seen battles and all that stuff. Let me know in the comments below how good is this Beyblade. Because obviously, when I do the little testing we're going to do here, that's nothing compared to like a two-player battle. So let me know all the battles you've seen. Is it good? Does the driver need changing? Let me know all that stuff in the, in the comments below. To me, honestly, I don't know why they just didn't do extreme. I know we've seen it extreme already, but I would rather extreme than sword. Like, sword for me was terrible the last time we used it. So I don't know. Anyway, let's get our friend Mr. Rainbow here. Once again, kids, do not use knives to open your boxes. Ask your parents or somebody older to help you. All right. Right, here we go. Woo! Oh, ho, ho, nothing else in the box. All right, guys. So, oh wow. Oh yeah, you need you need the um, stickers for the launcher as well. So we need those. Let's take these out one by one here. Once again, they don't really give us none of them things in here to tell us what Beyblades are coming next. Um, and there's the stickers. This is for the Beyblade. Assuming this is for the launcher. That's cool. When I put them on. I can't believe we got another Excalibur, man. Like, dude, like, come on. This is so cool. We got to see another Excalibur before Beyblades, like, all this ended and stuff. That's amazing. Are they going to be doing anything after the Ultimate Evolution? Or is it like this is, like, the final part, and then once this is done, there's, like, no more Beyblades. We have to wait for a new generation. I like that. I really like that. That looks cool, man. Look at this, guys. That's a nice clear. That's like got some glitter in there as well. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's cool. Whoops. I broke it already. Um, here we go. The rip cords. Rip these. Yes. Yeah. It's a little got a little bit of bend to it, but that's nothing. That's that basically straight. Yes. I am happy with this. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's a good launcher because I am going to be using this 100%, my boys. Yo, let's. Oh, there it is! Look! Boom! Boom! Yo! These launchers used to be so powerful as well. Um, all right, so taking one piece out at a time right here, getting down to the launcher. Obviously, I know we're all here for the Beyblade. My finger is stuck. Um, but yo, we got we got a new launcher as well. We need to check out this new launcher, my boy. 
get all that. All right, let's get all this rubbish off the table real quick. Um, oh, God, sellotape everywhere. It's crazy. Uh, attack of the sellotape. Let's get this awesome thing out here. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that, oh, that looks so cool. Are you guys, look at this. Oh, my God, that looks amazing. So I'm assuming that sticker's going to go there. This sticker's going to go somewhere, I suppose. I have to check that out where the stickers go. Oh, you can see it here. It actually goes here. So this sticker goes here. That sticker goes there. And then this sticker goes, again, somewhere. We'll figure that out. Right and left mode, again, obviously. So we have, this is right side. Just stick that in. Spin your right launchers. Ooh, right Beyblade, sorry. This one here. Left. That's so cool. I actually really like that. Do you have to put these on in any shenanigan way for it to work? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. So that just goes like that. That just goes like that. And in whatever way. This is amazing. Like you haven't got to do no shenanigans here. I like that, man. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like. Oh, I, guys. I think I found my favorite launcher right here. Like, yo. I need to. Oh, let it actually I don't know but babe you have to be careful when holding these maybe I'll hold it here let it rip oh this is the best looking launcher ever bros look how cool it even if you don't like a scale of a Beyblade for some weird reason Joel just this launcher is insane I love it I love it um, all right so now we're going to get out all the new pieces here I'm going to start with like the the lamest part and and, and question my my life choices right now because why would TT do? I think TT needs to question himself. Why, why, why? Like I why? But maybe you know what? Actually, not saying that. Yeah, the last few uh, releases, Gatlin Dragon and Chain Kerbius, the combos actually feel like they've been tested because they're actually good combos. And we all looked at Yard and we was like, yo, Yard is trash, but it ended up being good. Then we looked at the driver on Gatling Dragon. That looked like it was gonna be trash, but that was good. So you know, you know what? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back. I don't like this driver on any other combo, but maybe, just maybe, fingers crossed that this could actually be a good driver on this setup that we've actually got. All right, so now, yo ho! My boys, let me just zoom out a little bit because it's so big. Um, oh, so it's fixed in position. So you guys can see here, it's actually fixed into position. Obviously, it's got like a sword line up right here. I'm assuming you line that up with the actual sword part on the Beyblade as well. That looks cool. That does. It's a lot thinner than I thought. But yo, we're going to see how long this lasts as well. I love all the contact points in there. When you put this in high mode, it's going to do some damage to Beyblades that are not in high mode. Um, all right, so this is it. we got a new Excalibur, bro. Look at this. Yo, I am... Yo, what? It's metal. Get out of my face. Look at that. Oh, I know what it does. I've just figured it out. I'm the best in the world. No, I'm joking. Um, so you got. I'm assuming you put that in. So when you do this... When it's all locked up, right? Oh, no, no, no. That goes down. All right, so this, this, has, all right, so wait, let me, so there, you see it can't go in. So you have to make sure to, to get it all locked in, you do this, and it can't come down, right? That means it can't come down. As soon as it starts losing clicks, bonk, bonk, that comes down right there. I don't know what I, what I think it does, because it's metal and it feels really heavy just by doing this. I feel like it puts more weight onto this side right here so obviously then the attacks get more powerful as time goes on which I, I, the clicks don't feel too strong but at the same time it does look awesome i like this man please this new excalibur beyblade do not let me down like i've been let down with a lot of excaliburs just be good don't burst with every single hit. Uh, burst the other Beyblade, yeah, for sure. Burst the other Beyblade. Don't burst yourself. Because that's the thing with Excalibur that I noticed, yeah, is Excalibur always bursts itself. It attacks the other Bays and somehow always bursts itself. It defeats the purpose of having big hits. You want big hits to destroy the other Bays, not your own Bay. Um, but yeah, actually, one thing. Before we do that, let me just take this out so we can check this all out as well. And you guys can see. Let me just see this. So there you go. That comes down. I like that. It's really, you can feel the weight in that. When you do this, you can feel the weight in that. Yeah, so when this is in here, obviously all the metal's like in the center. So it's gonna be more 
they're more center gravity or center balanced or whatever. As soon as this comes out after a few clicks, then you know there's gonna be some big attacks, man. So like I said, just hopefully fingers crossed that um, it doesn't burst itself. Uh, we have the one, I like that. Do you know, can you see it? Can you, it's a sword, bro. Look, the sword part, that's amazing. So I'm assuming this goes in literally like you line this up. So the sword and sword part will go in like this. Can it do that? No, it do does it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It literally lines up. Oh, that's amazing. That's even better. That's even more cooler. Look at that. It literally lines up. Can you put it in upside down if you wanted to do some shenanigans? Uh, you can. Yeah, you can. You can, but why would you, bro? Like, this, this is how it goes. This is how you do it. Let me show you guys what it does when it's um, in high mode as well. I never really look at high mode, to be honest with you guys. Normally, I just leave high mode out because I kind of don't like high mode. Can this go in there, high mode? Yeah, it can. It's a bit jittery. That sword is out, man. That sword needs to go in. That sword needs to go in. Obviously, before you do that, the sword needs to actually go in. So I'm assuming, hold it up this way and put it in. Hey, there you go. And that comes down there. So you, oh, sorry, was I not in the camera? I'm sorry, my bad. Um, now nah, that's there like that. So that's high mode. I don't like high mode. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I don't like. I never liked high mode. I like low mode. Low mode is the mode to be at, man. This is that's that's the mode. The low mode is the mode to be. This is where you want to rock and roll with your Beyblades, man. Like low mode. And again, you're gonna have to put it in like this. So then this way, the uh, the sword can stay up in there, and then uh, you can check it out. It looks cool. I really, I really like this, man. I really, 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 really like this. Uh, but uh, all right, so what I'm gonna do right now, guys, is I'm gonna get the stickers on all of these base. So I'm gonna get the stickers on the Beyblade and I'm gonna get it on the launcher. We'll come back, check it out, and then I'm gonna do some battles. I'm definitely gonna do some battles, test it out against some other Beyblades. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't burst itself. And then we're gonna start doing that two player mode, man. So let me get these stickers on, check out what the Beyblade looked like. Actually, one second, let me, we're gonna compare them because I like doing the cut. So uh, we'll do this just so we can see it. So, right, that's zoomed in too close, man. Uh, all right, so there's that. That's what it looks like. Then I'm gonna just go pow, and then uh, have the stickers all on it, and then we can compare and see what they look like. Okay, my dudes, there it is. Excalibur with all of the stickers on, and all I can say is it is beautiful. Oh my dudes, I am an Excalibur fan. Oh my God, I love this Beyblade. Please be good in the stadium, Excalibur, please. There it is going all the way around, looks awesome. I'm gonna get the launcher as well, show you guys what it actually looks like. You guys can see that's, is that meant to be like that or? So I'm gonna actually check one thing, actually it goes, ah, there you go. So just so you guys can see, right, so check this out. So when it's on fully locked, the, the, the disc is here. When it starts to unclick, as you guys can see, boom, that bit doesn't come out yet. When it's lined up, when that bit actually lines up with each other, that's when this part can actually fall out as well. So uh, just so you guys can see that as well. I'm not too sure if you can put it on the opposite way. I think you can, but it definitely gives a ton more weight on this side. So the metal is gonna come down. you got this obviously here already, but then this is gonna be over on this side. So you're getting a massive smash attack. This is gonna be like, yo, just about to burst. I feel like Excalibur wants to nearly burst to unlock this power, and then it just gives a massive smash attack. If that was in the anime, that would be so cool, because you would literally see Xander laughing when he's about to burst. He's getting click, click, and he's like, it's time, Excalibur. Boom, and then just attack him, and then like, oh no, why did I try and burst him? Um, all right, so there's that. Here is the launcher. Oh wait, let me zoom out a little bit because the launcher is massive. Found out where that other sticker went as well. It's actually up on here on the ripcord. Uh, not a lot of stickers on there, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really need a lot of stickers on there. So uh, little stickers sometimes do make a big, big impact like this does. Uh, not a lot of stickers on this, but look, it looks it looks totally different now. I love it. Um, all right, so I, guys, it's time, right? It's actually time to get the stadium. I got it right here. The first thing I'm actually gonna do is just do a couple test launches. That's that's the one right here. So we're just gonna test launch this awesome new Beyblade and see how it rolls. Yo, it feels so weird to hold this, man. Wow, wow, this launch is powerful. This launch is powerful. It feels weird to launch a ripcord launcher again, though. Not gonna lie. Um, so far, the sword driver doesn't seem too bad. 
it doesn't seem too bad. It, it doesn't seem to, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So before, when we got these two bays, right? We saw these here and we're like, oh my God, why have we got these on here? They're so bad. But these two bay blades with these combos, right? They're actually, this whole combination of these two are actually not bad. So I'm thinking to myself, they actually play tested. They done some kind of testing on these bays because they're actually giving us good combos. In my opinion, uh, better than what we used to have anyway. Um, all right, so. Let me uh, do some test battles right now and uh, see how this goes. I feel like we need to do Kirbyus first just to see if we can break through the defensive powers of the Kirbyus Beyblade. All right, here we go. So Kirbyus going to just go there. Then we're going to get this in here. This is... All right, here we go. Time to see what happens. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited right now, my boys. Let's see what this Excalibur can actually do. Nice attacks right there. Oh no, the stamina. No, no, no. There's no stamina. Ooh, that nearly happened. That, do you know what? Like I said, take take all this one player testing with a pinch of salt because when I when Mr. LT, when Super Gaming Family does one player, it's 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 different, right? Like I I'm not used to doing one player. So when we get to two player mode, then yeah, we can really test it out. Let me do it one more time though. Alright, I'll do a little bit more harder launches to be honest. Alright, there you go. That was launched a bit more harder right there. See if we can get some attacks off right now. I want to try and see if we can actually last a little bit longer in the stadium. Really, Kirby's is a hard one to go against. Oh, because he doesn't really burst. Oh no. I'm not, you know what? I'm not even judging. I'm not, I'm not even going to judge right now. Again, one click, free, easy. That, that's scary as well. That's that's scary that it's getting one click really. Let me just see. One, two. And that's it. It scares me that it clicks so easy. That's the one thing that scares me. But like I said, one, this one player testing doesn't really mean a lot. Okay, guys? Um, so yeah, just take this with like a pinch of salt. Wait till we actually get into our real battles where we have two players and then we can actually see how good it is. All right, here we go. Gatlin Dragon did launch it too hard. Oh. I'm used to quick launching, bruh. I'm used to, you know what, yeah? After using string launches for so long, I have to get used, I have to get, you know what? Let me use, let me use, let me use this, yeah, on both Beyblades. Let, let, let me do that, that might be a bit better. Here we go. All right, all right, all right, here we go, guys. Now we can see. Oh, I feel like I'm just, like, oh, oh, get it, get it, get it, yes! Come on, get the big hits, get the big hits. We need the big hits. Oh, we're missing all the attacks, man. This is so not cool. I want to sack me, want to see what the big hits can do. All right, so we can already see the stamina is not the best. But like I said before, one click again as well, so you guys can see. Um, what, this is really just kind of like a launch testing kind of thing. Because uh, it's hard to determine how good a Beyblade is when it's only one player because Another Beyblade gets launched in first and that stuff. You can tell, like, um, I'm, I'm hoping that Excalibur's good. You can tell, right? Normally, I'm like, oh, no, this is bad. But I'm here. I'm just making up all these excuses of why it's not this is so great. I love Excalibur. And it'll be a shame to see Excalibur not be great. Oh, no. Um, but you know what? Don't worry. It don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. Wait till we actually get into the stadium. Wait till we actually get into the stadium. Two players. It's going to be absolutely epic. I love this Beyblade. It, it just looks amazing. We finally got a new Excalibur. Like I said, you guys have seen videos and battles and stuff. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the new Excalibur so far. Um, I've had a couple clicks on there. Not too sure how the rest of it's going to go. Uh, I'm not going to change the combo. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Do you know why? I'll tell you why I'm not going to change the combo. Loads of you guys get mad at me. When I, when, I, when I change the combo to make it better, everyone gets mad. Everyone like goes mad at me in the comments. Don't change the combo. Put it back. So I'm not going to change it. We didn't change this one because it's good. We didn't change this one and it's good. I'm not going to change this one. I'm going to leave it like that, man. Regardless if it's good or bad, I'm actually going to just leave it like that. We're going to do a whole bunch of tests. Which Beyblade should we go up against first? That's another question as well. Who should we put Excalibur up against first? Let me know in the comments below. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode, my dudes.